Welcome dear students. In this video, we are going to learn about another important cell signaling pathway that is called WNT pathway. At first, I will show you some important facts about this pathway and then I will go into details. The first important point you have to remember that is the name WNT. This name is actually amalgamation of two words. The first word comes from Drosophila and the gene name is wingless from the Drosophila. Another name from integrated from mouse and there's there are histories behind the naming of these two genes wingless and integrated. This WNT signaling pathway initially discovered in Drosophila and scientists found that if there is any mutation or any problem in this wingless gene then the Drosophila or insect do not develop wing so they name it wingless. Another thing is in case of mouse, scientists found that a virus called MMTV, MMTV virus, that means mouse mammary tumor virus. When this retrovirus integrate very near to a protein called WNT1, that is the first WNT protein discovered in vertebrate in mouse. When this virus, this is MMTV, mouse mammary tumor virus, integrated very near to a gene called WNT1, Let's suppose they integrate in this site, then this virus, the integrated site is called LTR of the virus, promote the overexpression, overexpression of WNT1 protein and cause mammary cancer. That actually attracted the notice towards this protein, mammary cancer. This WNT, WNT pathway actually play a diverse role in cells. One is cell proliferation. It helps in the cell proliferation in stem cells. It can determine the cell polarity. It can guide cells like mesenchymal cells or axons. It can control the urogenital system of vertebrates. It can help in the polarity like limb patterning and organogenesis. So there are so many functions can be performed by the single WNT pathway. So it is very important you must uh, read this uh, signaling pathway very in, in more details. Another important fact about WNT protein is that this protein go through a post translational modifications that is called addition of monounsaturated fatty acids. So they go through post translational modifications. What is the modifications? The modification is here attachment of mono unsaturated fatty acid example palmitoleic acid in the molecular book of Lodis only palmitoleic acid is mentioned but in the book of Gilbert development biology Palmitic acid is also mentioned. Palmitic acid. Both the acid, palmitolic and palmitic acid are mentioned. So I am mentioning here the two acid, two fatty acids. Let's suppose this is the WNT protein. In the middle, there is a amino acid called serine. This serine is attached with these fatty acids. Why it is important? Because this type of post translation modifications actually seen in only this WNT protein. Because in this case, the addition of these fatty acids helps in many different ways of this cell signaling pathway. I will tell you. First thing you have to remember, which is the enzyme that helps in this ad addition of this palmitolic or palmitic acid? Because we know that to perform any function in a cell, there is requirement of any enzyme. Like this post translational modification, that attachment of this fatty acid requires any enzyme. The name of this enzyme is very important you must remember and very interesting also. The name of the enzyme that helps in this post translation modification is called O-acetyl transferage. Then the name is very important called porcupine. We know porcupine. What is porcupine? It's an animal with spike-like structure. Scientists found that in Drosophila, if there is any mutation in this enzyme, then the larva of the drosophila denticles becomes like the porcupine spike. The denticles 
of the larva becomes like porcupine spike so from that reason they name this enzyme porcupine okay and another thing scientists have noticed that if there is any mutation in this porcupine enzyme then the WNT protein cannot be secreted out because we know that WNT protein is actually a um, paracrine factor paracrine protein or factor that can be secreted out from the cell and this is actually a cysteine rich glycoprotein this is a cysteine rich glycoprotein and is a paracrine factor that is secreted out of the cell but if there is any mutation in this porcupine then what happens this post translation modification or addition of this fatty acid will not occur okay then the WNT protein cannot be transported out of the cell the all the WNT protein remains in the endoplasmic reticulum so there is a role in the transportation and this modification by the porcupine is important thing so first fact is that this post transfer modification is important for the transport of WNT out of the cell another important fact is if there is no fatty acid in the WNT protein then this WNT protein cannot bind with the receptor the receptor name is frizzled so the receptor of this WNT pathway is the frizzled in case of drosophila there is drosophila, not only drosophila in vertebrates also there is another receptor that associate with this frizzled receptor so this is a receptor that actually accept the WNT protein the another receptor family is called LRP in drosophila this LRP protein is known as arrow arrow the full form of LRP is LDL receptor related protein how this protein helps in the signaling pathway I will show you at first I, I want to give you some important facts about this pathway LRP specifically 5 or 6 LRP 5 or 6 another important protein that helps in this path, uh, pathway signaling pathway is called glypecan glypecan this is actually a proteoglycan proteoglycan we can say it is a proteoglycan means glycosaminoglycans example are heparin sulfate heparin sulf heparin sulfate we know that proteoglycan means uh, some molecules like glycosaminoglycans example are heparin sulfate and chondroitin sulfate so this glypecan actually some extracellular matrix proteins that capture the secreted WNT proteins what does it mean let's suppose this is a cell these cells are secreting WNT out of this cytoplasm then the WNT can diffuse out but this WNT should be reached towards the rear near cells you have to understand if this WNT protein spread through all the system then it will not perform its function so it should be concentrated towards the cell and the cell actually express this glypecan that actually capture the uh, WNT protein so the glypecan is not the receptor it is actually a capture it can actually capture the WNT protein and concentrate the WNT protein very near cells and then it deliver the WNT to the frizzled and if there is any there is no fatty acid present in the WNT protein it cannot bind with the frizzled receptor this is very important okay another important fact about the WNT pathway is called the WNT pathway can be divided into two major pathway that is called canonical pathway canonical pathway in which a transcription factor is actually activated that is called beta catenin beta catenin another pathway is called non canonical pathway this pathway can be divided into two one is called planar cell polarity this helps in the uh, maintaining of the polarity of cell divisions plane of the cell divisions and also helps in the migration of cells polarity and another is called WNT calcium pathway so there are three main pathway the difference between this beta catenin and planar cell polarity is in case of beta catenin the lpr sorry lrp receptor 5 6 
are involved. In case of planar cell priority, R O R, another receptor is actually involved, not the LRP five six, R O R. Okay. And here, in case of planar cell polarity, a protein actually gets activated called Rho A protein or Rac protein. We know that Rho and Rac actually a um, Rho family protein, which helps in the cytoskeleton rearrangement. So this is actually the two basic difference between the non-canonical and canonical pathway. Another thing I want to mention here: this beta catenin can be also present. In a cell adhesion molecule called cadherins, you have to remember this. This beta catenin not only present in the cell also, cytoplasm. I am showing you here. In a cell, beta catenin can be present in the cytoplasm. Let's suppose this is the cytoplasm. Beta catenin can be present in the cytoplasm. Also in the cytoskeleton, cytoskeleton. Let's suppose this is the beta catenin attached with the actin filament. This structure is called cadherins. CAD CAD herins. This is called cell adhesion molecules. In epithelial cells, this cadherin and from other cells cadherin is actually attached. Let's suppose this is another cell. They also actually um, have cadherin and then cadherin cadherin interaction helps in the addition of the epithelial cells. In the cadherin junctions, if I draw it large, so it will look like this. It want it has some domain. Okay, it has some domain. And there are five domains: EC1 to EC5. And the first domain is for additions, and the second domain actually binds with calcium. And then there is three catenins are present. One is called alpha, beta, and gamma. These are three catenins. So you can see beta catenin is also involved in the cell additions. Let's suppose this is the actin filament. So, in case of cell adhesion, beta catenin is also present, and in case of WNT pathway, beta catenin is present in the cytoplasm, not the cytoskeleton or uh, this cell adhesion, because cell adhesion. This is called cadherin. In case of cadherin, this beta catenin is not involved in WNT pathway, but there is a, another type of beta catenin that is present in the cytoplasm that helps in this pathway. In case of Drosophila, this beta catenin name is called Armadillo. You can remember for group B questions, Armadillo. In Drosophila, it is called Armadillo. Armadillo. Okay. Now I will show you how this mechanism or cell pathway occurs. This pathway starts from the WNT protein. Let's suppose when there is no WNT protein, I am mentioning the canonical pathway because this is very important. Two condition can be when there is no WNT protein and when there is WNT protein. And this is the cell. When there is no WNT protein, then the receptor, this frizzled receptor, do not perform its function, and the LRP is here. LRP 5-6 is there. It no, do not associate with the frizzled. There is another protein called Disevelt. The name of the protein is Disevelt. Disevelt protein is also present in a cell when there is no WNT. Disevelt protein is not attached with the frizzled. And the beta catenin, the main function or the main player of this signaling pathway called beta catenin. Is associated catenin is associated with a complex, complex, and the complex is made up of many different proteins like axin. Axin is the scaffold protein. Axin is the scaffold protein that helps in the arrangement of this complex. There could be axin. There is two other proteins called that is kinase called CK1, another kinase called GSK3. Another protein associated with this complex called APC. APC. The full form of APC is adenomatous 
polyposis coli. If there is any mutation in this APC protein, then colorectal cancer occur. So it is very important. So this pathway is very important. When there is no WNT protein, this complex actually happens. This complex is present in the cell. Then there is GSK3 and CK1 phosphorylate many serine and threonine residue of the beta catenin. When this beta catenin gets phosphorylated, one ubiquitin ligase called TRCP bind with this protein. Let's suppose this is a TRCP protein. It binds, it is ubiquitin ligase. And when ubiquitin ligase binds with any protein, it actually poly ubiquitinizes the protein. So beta catenin gets poly ubiquitinized. Many ubiquitin protein binds with this beta catenin. And ultimately, this beta catenin actually go to the 26S proteosome and degraded. Degraded. If there is no beta catenin, then in the nucleus, the responsive gene that is controlled by the WNT protein is not actually activated because the transcription factor here, the TCF, remains with attached with a code repressor, co repressor called Groucho. The GRO means Groucho. It is a co repressor. Repress the transcription of the gene that is targeted by the WNT protein. TCF is a transcription factor but cannot perform its function because GRO or Groucho is actually associated with this uh, protein. So transcription is inhibited when there is no WNT protein is present. Now, how what happens when WNT protein bind with the free result? I will show you. The total mechanism is not discovered, but scientists have found that the free result, I have mentioned one thing that the beta uh, glypican, sorry, glypican is a protein that actually captured the beta WNT, then it actually transferred this WNT to the free result. Free result. This free result is a 7 transmembrane protein and this WNT protein is actually fatty uh, uh, post translationally modified by addition of fatty acid, palmitolic or palmitic acid. Then it binds with the free result with this fatty acid. Then LRP associate with this free result. This is the LRP 5-6. When this structural change occur, axin protein that is the main, main protein that actually make the complex bind with this axin protein bind with this LRP LRP axin protein bind with this LRP because when this WNT protein binds then the somehow we don't know how it occurs CSK1 and GSK3 actually phosphorylate the LRP molecule phosphorylate the LRP molecule and then axin bind with this phosphate group of LRP and a protein that is called disabled actually attach with the free result and block or actually stabilize the axin binding. This is called disabled. Disabled protein, at first it was not attached with the free result or LRP, but when WNT bind, when LRP gets phosphorylated by CK1 and GSK3, both this kinase phosphorylate the LRP, then axin bind with the LRP then the DC field actually stabilize this axin binding. Now you can see that when there is no axin, then this all complex cannot form because this is a scaffold, scaffold of the structure complex. And there is no GSK and CK1. So beta catenin is not phosphorylated. So beta catenin remain intact. Beta catenin do not get phosphorylated. This beta catenin, because then APC is not actually attached, so all the complex is actually removed. CSK1 is there, GSK3 is there, APC and exin. Now, beta catenin can enter inside the nucleus. Let's suppose this is the nucleus, and then beta catenin remove the Groucho, the repressor, and bind with the TCF. It attached with the TCF beta catenin and other. Trans co, tra co activator also activate because as you said, this beta catenin acts as a co activator and helps in the 
ट्रांसक्रिप्शन ओके सो दिस इज हाउ बीटा कैटेनिन पाथवे ऑकर्स सो हेयर द मेन मॉलिक्यूल दैट इज बीटा कैटेनिन एक्चुअली रेस्क्यूड फ्रॉम पॉली इविक्यूटाइजेशन दिस इज द मेन थीम द कॉम्प्लेक्स एक्चुअली फॉस्फोराइलेट एंड पॉली इविक्यूटाइज द टी आर सी पी प्रोटीन इविक्यूटाइजेस दिस प्रोटीन बिकॉज वेन बीटा कैटेनिन गेस फॉस्फोराइटेड टी आर सी पी अटैच एंड देन इट पॉली इविक्यूटाइजेस एंड देन प्रोटीजोमल डिग्रेडेशन ऑकर बट वेन डब्ल्यू एन टी बाइंड देन जी एस के थ्री सी के वन in an unknown mechanism actually uh, dissociate and then phosphorylate then axin bind dissolved stabilize the binding so no longer axin can form this complex so it cannot phosphorylate and degrade the beta cadenin so beta cadenin can enter inside the nucleus and bind with tcf and actually remove the groucho remove the protein groucho okay remove this protein out of the nucleus or actually remove the Association of the TCF and Groucho and binds with the TCF. TCF is a transcription factor and helps in the transcriptions. Now, I want to mention some important facts about this WNT pathway, and I will take a separate class on that pathway because here is a negative feedback loop. This is the simple fact about the WNT signaling pathway. Now, the important thing is this is the canonical pathway, and I have mentioned that in case of non-canonical pathway, the LRP is not actually associated. But the enzyme called ROR, ROR is associated, and uh, the ROR actually um, attached with this disabled, and then disabled associate with the RO GT pairs like RO A or RAC. Then the cytoskeleton rearrangement occur. So this is the non-canonical pathway. But I'm, I want to mention here that this pathway actually controlled by a negative feedback loop. What is the negative feedback loop? I will show you. I have mentioned that when WNT protein bind with the frizzled. Result, then a chain reaction occur, and beta catenin go inside the nucleus and helps in the transcription of the target gene. Transcription occur. One of the transcriptional uh, target gene is called a protein called NOTAM. N O T U M. This is actually a hydrolase enzyme that actually remove. the fatty acid that is associated with the wnt protein that is palmitoic or palmitic acid so this is actually a uh, enzyme called hydrolase hydrolase enzyme that actually hydrolyze the attach fatty acid from the wnt protein when no term remove this wnt protein fatty acid the wnt protein can no longer bind with the free result and by this way this mechanism actually control the wnt signaling and in case of regeneration of planaria this notum protein and this wnt protein perform a very important role i will not tell you in this class i will make a separate video on this topic because this is very important it can come into the csr net questions this is one mechanism another thing i have mentioned that the wnt protein is actually attached or captured by a protein called glycan it is actually a proteoglycan it could be heparin sulfate scientists have found that in uh, drosophila there is a protein called sugarless sugarless this is very important in dros uh, drosophila the naming is always less this sugarless is actually an enzyme that helps in the production of proteoglycans like chondroitin sulfate or heparin sulfate now if this there is a mutation in this sugarless protein or gene then this drosophila cannot uh, make the proteoglycan then they found that the wnt pathway is not actually functioning properly so that means the wnt protein actually helps this proteoglycan associations so hope this video will help you thank you for watching and always keep learning